Hey guys, so we're going to look at a card which has been skyrocketing in price recently. In the last few days since I actually made that video, it was owe me $30. Now it's around $50 TCG player. I would have pulled the Star City Games price, but it's all sold out. And I believe Star City Games are probably stockpiling these to be uploaded at a different price point in the future when it's more settled. $50, wow, Princess Avacyn. Love the card. I ordered a playset of it, which hasn't come yet, so I'm a little concerned because people are... I mean, it's from a vendor I order a lot of cards from, so probably they will deliver, but it is... Uh, they told me they have to crack a few more packs because uh, what happened was they asked if it was okay for them to send the cards to the other people who ordered first and then wait on me and I said you know what we've done business for years and years since I was in high school fine do whatever you want to do but Avacyn wow crazy uh, I just $50 I can't even imagine that for a card right now um, because Innistrad Shadows of Innistrad is opened so much of it is opened for a card to get up to $50, it, first of all, it has to be better than Gideon. Gideon never got to $50, and he was played in pretty much every single deck uh, when he first came out. And he was the only, only valuable card in Battle for Zendikar at that time. Now you have Ceaseless Hunger, and I mean, it, you have other cards that have some value, but $50, woof. That is uh, a lot. That is a lot for a standard magic card. And I'm not sure what's happening. I, I do know it's very good and I do know it's play. But typically when you do have a $50 card or you have other factors, um, it has to A, be modern playable, B, be a casual favorite, which this is. I don't feel like this is modern playable though. And C, retain value. And part of that retention of value is playability in the eternal formats. I don't believe this is playable in the Eternal formats. Five is a lot. It is a lot in those for in modern or especially in Legacy. This card has to absolutely dominate Standard to keep at fifty dollars. Like absolutely dominate, and we'll find out soon because I believe a Pro Tour is coming up uh, very soon. I just don't know how I got to fifty dollars. I honestly don't know. Because I could not, I cannot imagine a card uh, outside an expedition, obviously, which gets to fifty dollars, um, given the amount of people opening packs nowadays. Anyways, bye guys.